coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with a relatively new brow product review and this is the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil from Hourglass. So Hourglass is fancy you guys. Hourglass is one of those brands that's like up there next to like YSL at Sephora and you're almost like a little bit scared to touch it. If you guys are followers of my channel for a while you've seen me rave about the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil, uh, Mineral Primer Veil. Oh, it's one of my favorite primers of all time. You saw me buy this brush in a haul with my best friend Samantha. Oh my god this brush is awesome. And I'm a major, major, major fan of the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. I use this as a setting powder sometimes. And I'm not going to lie, it makes it look like I set my under eye with the very first haircut of a newborn baby unicorn. Like, it's awesome. So they have really great awesome products. So when I was sent the Hourglass um, Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil, I got really excited because brow pencils are tricky. They're either too, too waxy or they're too um, creamy, you know, creamy, almost like you're rubbing like a lip liner on your, on your hair. It's kind of strange. Or they're way, way, way too dry and almost hard to use or too, uh, almost abrasive. And then a big issue that I have with eyebrow pencils, the ones that have the spoolie, usually the spoolie is pretty whack. So when I received this uh, eyebrow pencil, I got really excited because uh, the packaging, let's take a minute to talk about the packaging. So I got really excited about the packaging. I thought it was very sleek. It's heavy. It's metal. I mean, it's, it's nice. But the price tag of this eyebrow pencil is $32. The Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, like the Brow Wiz, are what, $22, I think? Somewhere between $20 and $24, I'm not sure. I haven't used the Brow Wiz in a really long time. And then NYX came out with the micro pencil that is almost identical to the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow Wiz, so I stopped using that one, and then e.l.f. came out with an instant brow lift eyebrow pencil that's $3, and I used it and I completely fell in love with it. Now the formula of the e.l.f. pencil is different because it's one of those softer, creamier pencils that takes a little bit of practice, but it's $3. And we do, you know, we do eyebrows every time we do our makeup. It's not one of those things where, oh, you know what, today I'm not going to do blush. It's it's kind of a must. So you go through them really quickly. And with a $32 price tag, I was kind of skeptical. I was like, oh, it's $32 and I already have one that's $3 that I really love. So what is so awesome about this pencil? So I gave it several chances and it's pretty awesome. I don't know if it's worth the $32, but if you're a fan of Hourglass, you like the company, you're a fan of their products like I am, then it might be a pencil worth checking out. So the pencil's $32, it comes in nine different colors, and in case you're wondering, I'm in the shade Warm Brunette. So that's the color that I'm wearing today. You could tell it, it matches my hair pretty spot on. Well, it matches my real hair pretty spot on, <laughs> not the grown out one. Um, and it's really, really interesting. So the claims of this pencil are that it combines wax, powder and pencil in one. So it saves you all the steps. It's kind of all mixed together and it gives you that appearance all in one. And in a minute, I'm gonna insert a clip on how I do my brows using this pencil, but I'll show you guys a close up of the packaging of this pencil. It's really cool, it's very sleek. It has that heavy metal feeling to it. It does have a spoolie on one end, which is actually a really awesome spoolie. It combs your hair like, it feels like a wet brush for your hair, like your eyebrow, it completely brushes them out and disperses the color perfectly. It's, it's a spoolie that's very separate. The bristles are very separate. Like they're, they're very separate. They're not really close together like the brow is or like the micro pencil where 
they're closer together and more narrow, but it really brushes them out. I was surprised. I didn't have to reach for my, my favorite spoolie. And then the tip of the pencil is quite interesting because it's almost like triangular. It's a triangular tip. It has a chubbier side and then a flatter side. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the chubbier side and run it along the underneath part of your brow to get the bottom done. And then you turn it to the pointy side and then go in upward motions or strokes to just kind of fill in any bald spots that you have or to do hair like strokes. If I were to sadly compare this $32 pencil to my $3 e.l.f. pencil, obviously this one lasts a lot longer. It definitely just clings, I feel almost like it clings to the hair that I already have and it prolongs the wear of my eyebrows, which I could really appreciate because you know that half of my eyebrow is fake right now. I, I don't have very thick brows, I don't have very much eyebrow hair at all. So it does prolong the wear of that. I still use a tinted brow gel on top, like you saw in the demo, the Ico tinted brow gel, which is my holy grail, I really love it. So it would give me that like brushed, almost like wispy, feathery eyebrow look. Um, so I use that on top for sure. When this pencil arrived, I immediately thought that it was going to be the same as the Sleek Eyebrow Stylist, which is, I mean, when you look at it, you think it's the same exact thing, except for the packaging on the Sleek one is very cheap. But you look at this spoolie, super similar. Let me show you guys a side by side. You look at the spoolie, it's very similar, super similar. And then when you look at the other side, again, very, very similar. They have that like bizarre, almost triangular tip, but they're not the same at all when it comes to formula. And that's kind of when I started to realize that maybe the $32 price tag was for a reason. The sleek one is just waxy, there's no pigment. It feels almost like you're just rubbing like some tinted wax on your eyebrows. It doesn't stay on your skin very long. This one is so awesome. It feels like you're going through the steps of brushing your brows with wax, depositing the uh, powder product, filling in or defining with a pencil, and then setting everything with a gel. That's what it feels like, but in, a, in like a one-step product in this pencil. I'm still a little skeptical about the price, especially because I've been really satisfied with drugstore priced eyebrow pencils at the moment. I'm having a season of drugstore when it comes to eyebrow products, so I think the price is a little bit steep, but like I said, there are a lot of us that are beauty lovers that love prestige brands. So if you guys are fans of luxury or prestige high-end beauty products and you're already a fan of Hourglass, the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil is definitely an A+. I really really enjoyed it. I don't know if I would see myself repurchasing it, especially like I told you guys, I've fallen in love with drugstore pencils and I don't know if I can go back from that, especially because $3 or $6, I mean that's a big price difference between $32, but Man, if I was rich, I would definitely use this pencil every day. I think that was one of those moments where I think I'm thinking it and it actually comes out so I'm just gonna leave it in there. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the description box below in case you guys are interested in checking it out or seeing further information on it. That will be listed in the description box below. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, 